Hey, this is Carl and welcome to another episode of World of Custom Statues. So stay tuned. Hey fellow collectors, hope everybody had a good week. I'm back with a whole new list of custom statues. Like always, if you are interested in the pieces mentioned in the video, hit me up on Facebook with a screenshot of the piece you are interested in. Link in the description below. And if you haven't joined yet, you could join the channel's Facebook group to see more high quality photos of the pieces mentioned in the video. And you could also discuss with the community on the pieces you are interested in or pieces that you are looking for. Group link will be in the description below. So this is going to be a short episode. There's not much update this week since we are nearing the Chinese New Year. The Chinese New Year is just right around the corner. It's gonna start, I think, on February 1. And as we all know, that is kinda a bad news for custom collectors since the factory will be closed for a month, which means the production will be stopped and will resume on March. And that is why sometimes commissioner tends to try and ship a statue before the Chinese New Year. Anyway, here's your quick weekly update on the custom world. First is we have an open pre-order for this Frank Miller Batman. I think this is one of the best ones out there for the custom. And obviously Daniel Bell's Frank Miller Batman is the best for the licensed one. Plus the licensed one has a very iconic pose. And there's actually a custom that is very similar to Daniel Bell's Frank Miller Batman, but I'm not allowed to share it. So moving on. Next is we have another pre-order open for this Dark Phoenix Jean Grey. Uh, it comes with two versions to choose from, the green and the red one. Also the base changes from the different versions. But me personally, I kind of like the green version more with the blue base. Next, this Doctor Doom riding a bear just got printed and there's still a few slots left available if you are interested. It actually looks pretty good and definitely a must-have for Doctor Doom collectors. Next, this Sunfire just got printed. It's not yet assembled, so here's a photo of the renders. And pre-order is also open for this very unique character. Next pre-order for this Doomsday is open. I honestly think this is one if not the best custom Doomsday around. Really like what they did here plus the price isn't that bad in my opinion. Could also rival for the best Doomsday statue ever for both custom and license. But not including the one third scale from Prime 1 of course. Next, we have a teaser for an upcoming Zatanna. This is a series of dark 
mystic DC characters from the studio. Before we continue with the weekly custom statues, if you aren't subscribed yet, consider subscribing to the channel so you get notified with new upcoming custom statues and other related statue videos that I make. And if you do enjoy the content that I make, maybe you'd be interested in supporting the channel via subscribing to the channel's Patreon page or simply donating via PayPal. Both links will be in the description below. And thanks in advance. So let's continue. Next, we have a full reveal for this legendary scale Spider-Man. Yep, you heard that right. This is gonna be a one half scale statue. What's unique about this one is that it will come with a wall mountable base. I think that's a first. And the usual base we're accustomed to where you just put uh, Spider-Man on the shelves. I think the commissioner is considering a small run for quarter scale collector. Next, the prototype of this onslaught just arrived to Titinan's uh, studio. I got this on pre-order and I'm very very excited what she could do to this statue. Next, pre-order is open for this Del Otto inspired Spider-Man and of course it's symbiote version. Both version comes with two portrait switchouts. I think the other portrait is a Todd McFarlane portrait, I'm not really sure. And in case you're wondering, this is already the prototype. Next, this Dormammu statue is ready to ship. Got a few slots left available and has an addition size of just 30 pieces. You don't see Dormammu statues that often. Next, this Logan with Wolves is also ready to ship. Also has a very low edition size. And lastly, we have this Nova. It is also ready to ship, definitely one of the better Novas around, and it doesn't take much space to display. So that's it for this week's episode. Hope you guys found something you like. And if you do, you can send me a message through Facebook with a screenshot of the piece you are referring to. Link will be in the description below. And join our Facebook group if you want to discuss some custom pieces with the Unboxing Bros community. Facebook group link will be in the description below as well. Thanks for watching and see you again next week. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this.